Rivers are, according to Wikipedia, a natural flowing water course, usually fresh waters, flowing towards an ocean. There are many things that live in rivers, such as fish, but sometimes the animals that have been found in rivers are not wholesome little fish, but things far more terrifying. Things that may be monsters of myth and legend. These are the scariest creatures found in rivers. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Number 10. Goliath Tigerfish this deadly catch shocked and horrified television audiences all over the UK when River Monsters presenter Jeremy Wade managed to reel one in from its remote habitat along Africa's Congo River, using a 200-pound fishing line, no less. Five feet long and weighing over 100 pounds, the Goliath tigerfish shares a lot in common with the piranha, much like other members of the tigerfish family. So what's different about them? Well, the clue is in the name, and those who know the biblical tale of David and Goliath will know exactly what I'm talking about. These things are absolutely gigantic, and thanks to their rows of huge, razor-sharp teeth, they're even capable of chowing down on crocodiles. There's a very good reason why they've also earned the moniker of Demon Fish. While the subject of this particular catch was 5 feet in length, the largest on record was said to be a massive 6 feet. These riverborne horrors have also been known to attack people when spooked, so be careful next time you find yourself sailing down the Congo. Wade is one of very few anglers who can claim to have caught a Goliath tigerfish due to the risks involved, the beast's sheer size, weight, and strength, and the difficulty of reaching its habitat. To be honest, we can hardly say we envy the guy. Now it's time for the odd topic. The blurriness of this photo makes it hard to get a good grasp on what's been caught here, especially because I don't have my glasses on and, well, there's no way I'm going all the way to the other end of the room where they are just to put them on, but there's definitely something. The photo, taken on a small fishing boat, captures what could be the head of a giant sea creature or the fin of an even bigger one. Possibly some kind of giant turtle or maybe a Loch Ness monster-like creature. What do you think? As always, comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 9. Anaconda Well, Baby God back hit maker Sir Mix-a-Lot clearly thinks a lot of himself, comparing his own trouser snake to one of these gargantuan beasts. There are four known species of anaconda, all native to South America. Their bite may not be venomous, but that's probably a lot to do with the fact that they simply don't need poison to kill. They capture their prey by wrapping their extraordinarily long and powerful body around it, quite literally squeezing the life out of their victims before swallowing them whole. An anaconda's prey includes, but is not limited to, caiman, an alligatoroid species, capybara, deer, and even jaguar. They're not known to attack humans, but they're quite capable of killing one. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to take the chance. The green anaconda isn't just the largest of the four species, it's also the biggest species of snake known to man. The females are even larger than the males, and they've been known to kill and devour their mates shortly after doing the deed. We've never seen anacondas go at it, but they must do it right to work up an appetite like that. The biggest anaconda to have ever been caught and measured was an incredible 28 feet long with a girth of 44 inches, and it was believed to weigh around 500 pounds. However, there have been reported sightings of anacondas of 50 and even 100 feet in length. No thank you. Number 8. Kandiru while it may look cute compared to some of the others on this list, the legend of the Kandiru is a whole world and nope, enough to make anyone instinctively cross their legs. The Kandiru is a small, parasitic catfish native to the Amazon basin. On average, they measure up at around 3 inches long and an inch wide, although some species can grow up to 17 inches long. Sounds pretty harmless, right? Well, not so much. Reports dating back to the 19th century tell tales of Kandiru catapulting themselves out of the water and into the urethras of native tribespeople as they bathed in the river. The fish then fixed themselves firmly in place with an array of sharp, spiny barbs and started eating. 
Victims were said to experience unimaginable, excruciating pain while essentially being devoured from the inside out. Yikes. Following several reported incidents, with many apparently leading to genital amputations, the natives became so terrified of the Kandiru that they went to extreme lengths to protect themselves from an attack. Many wore thick, protective undergarments at bath time, while some tribesmen even tied ligatures around their you-know-what to stop a Kandiru getting in. The most recent reported case occurred in 1997, when a 23-year-old man was apparently attacked while urinating into a river in Brazil. Urologist Dr. On Noir Samad claimed he removed the Kandiru in a two-hour operation, although an investigation by marine biologist Stephen Spott highlighted what he believed to be several inaccuracies and inconsistencies in Samad's account of the events. Experts say that Kandiru don't have the means to propel themselves out of the water like many of these stories describe, while others have pointed out that the size of an average Kandiru is somewhat larger than that of the average urethra. So, fact or fiction? Who knows? Either way, I'll be putting on my metal trunks before I go for a dip in the Amazon. Number 7. Goliath Bird Eater Spider Locations like the Amazon, the Nile, and the Ganges are teeming with creepy crawlies, so arachnophobes aren't likely to make the trip anytime soon, even less so once they clap eyes on this absolute beast, the Goliath Bird Eater Spider. You may not even need to see it. Let's face it, any spider big enough to snack on birds is probably best avoided. The Goliath Bird Eater is the largest species of tarantula and the world's biggest spider by mass. However, you might be surprised to hear that despite their frightening name, the Bird Eater spider rarely actually eats birds. Don't ask me to explain that one, please. Instead, its prey primarily consists of small mammals and reptiles like rodents, lizards, and snakes. Having said that, it certainly earns the Goliath part of its name, with a massive leg span of 12 inches and an average weight of 100. 175 grams. Like most tarantulas, the females are not only larger than the males, but also live much longer, with an average lifespan of 15 to 25 years. The males only tend to live 3 to 6 years, but not for the reason you might expect. Female goliath bird eaters are one of the few arachnid species that don't eat their mates. Sweet! The bird eater isn't known to attack humans unless provoked, and while their bite is tough enough to break the skin and can be poisonous, the venom isn't dangerous, with experts comparing it to a wasp sting. Still, if you did get bitten, you could always get your own back by traveling to northeastern South America where the goliath bird eater is a local delicacy. Tastes like shrimp, apparently. I think I'll take their word for it. Number 6. Nile Crocodile As the name might suggest, the Nile Crocodile is native to Africa. Sure, crocodiles should probably be avoided at the best of times, but the Nile Crocodile is a particularly vicious species that is responsible for hundreds of human fatalities every year. It's not hard to see why when you look at its physiology. On average, an adult male can grow up to 16 and a half feet in length and weigh up to 750 kilograms, although there have been unconfirmed reports of specimens up to 30 feet long. The Nile crocodile is an apex predator, meaning it's at the top of the food chain in its natural habitat. It likes to take its prey by surprise, leaping out of the shallow water and attacking with its ultra-powerful jaws and upwards of 60 razor-sharp teeth. It then sadistically pulls its victims into the water to drown them. Small groups often team up to take down larger mammals like antelopes, big cats, and giraffes, tearing their prey to pieces and sharing the spoils. They know how to play the long game, too. If you stay perfectly still, Nile crocodiles can hold their breath underwater for up to two hours due to high levels of lactic acid in their blood, allowing them to carry out a stealthy sneak attack on an unsuspecting meal. Number 5. Snakehead is it a snake? Is it a fish? No, it's a snakefish. Well, a snake head, named after its reptilian features and huge, gaping maw. National Geographic affectionately refers to this freshwater demon as Fishzilla and Frankenfish, and it's infamous for being one of the most invasive and ecologically destructive species of fish in the world. They're also highly prolific, laying up to 150,000 eggs in a two-year period. Unlike many fish, the snakehead can survive on dry land for up to four days. Though it spends most of its time in the water feeding on smaller fish and frogs, it has been known to attack and kill small mammals like rats. 
Snakeheads become exceptionally dangerous when they're introduced into non-indigenous waters, either intentionally or by accident. In their natural habitat, they have enemies that prey upon them and thin out their numbers. If they're able to set up shop somewhere else, they often gain instant apex predator status, wreaking havoc everywhere they go. In fact, they are so predatory in non-native ecosystems, it's been illegal to own a live snakehead in many U.S. states since 2002. The largest snakehead ever caught was found in the Potomac River, clocking in at 3 feet long and just shy of 8 kilograms in weight. Number 4. Giant Catfish the giant catfish, native to the Mekong River in Southeast Asia, isn't as scary as it looks. A female caught in Thailand back in 2005 measured up at almost 9 feet long and weighed almost 300 kilograms. Though this specimen holds the current record for the largest freshwater fish ever caught, the giant catfish can weigh up to 350 kilos. They mainly feed on aquatic plants during adulthood, although young giant catfish are known cannibals. To be fair, we'd like to see an adult try and eat one of their own, considering the giant catfish is completely and utterly toothless. Number 3. Diving Bell Spider the scary diving bell spider is the only species of spider that lives almost exclusively underwater. It gets its name from the air bubble it creates around its abdomen, allowing it to breathe for several days at a time. Diving bell spiders only need to surface briefly to replenish their air supply before returning to a more comfortable depth. These spiders also use their diving bell to keep their offspring safe and catch prey that unwittingly brushes against it. While it's one of the smallest creatures on this list, it still has a poisonous, painful bite. It's not fatal to humans, but it can make a person pretty sick for a few days, causing inflammation, fever, and vomiting. Number 2. Electric Eel When is an eel not an eel? When it's a knife fish. That's right, the electric eel isn't even an eel. Who knew? You might be shocked to hear that, but you'll be shocked for real if you get too close to one of these guys. The electric eel uses three sets of abdominal organs to emit a combination of low and high voltage charges to sense and stun their prey respectively. While a one-off attack is highly unlikely to kill a human, an electric eel can deliver a single shock of up to 860 volts, comparable to a shot from a stun gun. It'll smart, that's for sure. Number 1. Piranha one of the deadliest freshwater fish known to man, the piranha actually has links to a previous entry on this list, the Kandiru. Although the Kandiru catfish has been blamed for many cases of genital mutilation and amputation, experts say that the perpetrator of these attacks is far more likely to be the piranha. Okay, so the idea of a spiny little fishy burrowing its way into your business is pretty nightmarish, but having it bitten off by a piranha doesn't sound much better. They may not be particularly large, but piranhas have one of the most powerful bites of any bony fish, thanks to their strong jaw muscles and a row of super sharp interlocking teeth. Cases of piranha attacks on humans are rare, but they do happen. Most result in minor injuries, but several extreme incidents have led to gruesome deaths. So, what do you make of these fearsome aquatic nasties? Will you be taking a trip to the Amazon Basin anytime soon? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!